So in this little mini series for YouTube, I will give you a little bit of direction of which is the best path of career for you, right? So we're looking at A, B, C, D, all of them here depicted as your fate lines, right? Angling towards the various fingers, which has different directions for you. For the most part, we will see A, which starts at the bottom of the hand or in the middle of the hand and goes up towards your Saturn finger. Now, this is corporate, right? This is labor and toil, working really hard, mastering your skills, sticking sticking to the, the trodden path, or also what I would say, maybe more the conventional uh, path, working for corporate. Most of us do, some of us don't, right? So if your line is straight and it goes straight up there to your um, Saturn finger, well, then that is the direction where you would be most successful. Now, if we look at finger B or fate line B going up to your ring finger, that is ruled by the sun and your creative skills. So if it angles towards this finger, then your career line would be showing you that you're best suited within the creative field, maybe as a musician, you know, designer, a painter, sculptor, dancer, whatever it is within entertainment where you can express more of your, your personal self and desires. Now, if your fate line angles towards your little finger, your little finger is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is all about communication. So anything within the fields of communication, which could be the internet, right? Programming and so forth. Anything linear of language or codes and so forth. That is where you could uh, shine and radiate the most, right? It could be within sales and networking and presenting. Uh, it could be as a writer, reporter, in the news, the radio, so forth. Anything there, this is where you could radiate, where you could shine, where you can obtain the best within your career field. Now, if your feet line angles towards your index finger, which is ruled by Jupiter, which is depicted here by D, well, then you are a person that loves to expand your horizons, right? You might be a huge traveler, worldwide traveler, or work with uh, trades within the international community. It also rules faith and religion. You might be a minister, a pastor, those kind of things, as within also politics or justice, a lawyer maybe, or a judge. Those kind of things where you can rule because it rules ruling. Think about that Jupiter finger when you speak and you throw that finger out there. You're pontificating, right? Pointing towards what you believe, right? So you're somebody who really wants to uh, have a crowd of followers or somebody that you want to lead. You are a natural born leader. So that can be a governor in your, your city, state, and whatnot. So... Uh, take a look at the directions. Now, I did add in here these two circles, and that's over Mars, right? The area of Mars. That would be, if it goes directly to one of these, well, then you're definitely a sports person or somebody who likes competition or martial arts and so forth. Don't see that too many, even though we have lots of um, sports people, of course, but their fate line might go up towards A, which is their career, branches going off over there to Mars, which represents these circles, Mars being physical activity, you know, so, um, yeah. Now, this is just a little brief overview uh, to my online course, and you can find that in the description down below if you want more specific insights. Until next time, now have a good one.